good governance, we should be able to uh, make sure that we reduce that particular pending bill uh, in the coming year to almost nil. The other challenge which has made this excellent the President of the Republic of Kenya to send me here with my brother, the Principal Secretary, in the midst of housing is because we know that you are staying in areas which are not very conducive for quality running. Because for you to come and run properly here, you must stay in areas which are good areas which are decent and that is why we are here so that the Ruto administration can be able to start a project here of accommodating students hostels which will accommodate up to 10,000 students. The administration and ASIC demand all other universities that yes, we require right sizing, we require downsizing we have said that you have to focus on the core functions of the university, such that all universities, the only recruitment they will be able to do when it is necessary is for the teaching staff. The non-teaching staff, when uh, at natural attrition or anything happens, we have said no more recruitment until we sort out the financial challenges that we have in our public universities. And finally, uh, requesting the security personnel in Kisi County, first to thank my brother Kindiki for ensuring that there is peace and the tranquility in this part of Kenya, because the development can only thrive when we have security in our places. So let us not take it for granted. We also make an appeal to the local leaders to ensure that uh, uh, they have that one in their minds. Nobody should be able to compromise that because once that is compromised, then uh, uh, many bad things will happen. And uh, when I now now required to focus more and more on matters, the ferment, students require to focus on their studies so that uh, they will soon enough come and participate in nation building of this country. And that's why, again, the other thing that the six and the president has said is that yes, once you are done with your schooling here, he has said we have to come up with intentional, practical, and deliberate initiatives to ensure that in one way or the other you secure employment, you secure a job, and you have seen the kind of measures he has taken in including, and not limited to, uh, uh, people acquiring competencies, digital skills, and in that space, we have over one million jobs, and already the young people are accessing that, and I think when we have an opportunity, you will be taken through that, so that even before you finish your school, you can also be able to access some of those jobs. To the kind of funding and financial challenges that we have in our public universities, as well as ensuring that we make higher education, university education affordable, so that all those of us coming from the poor backgrounds can be able to get opportunities to pursue education up to the highest level. And that is why we have come up with the criteria, a formula uh, of identifying those of us who come from backgrounds that they cannot be able to pay any amount of money when they come to university and the government will be able to provide for that in the form of scholarship. So we have a combination of scholarship and the loans which are given by the uh, Rules Education Board. Like again, I promised the first years last week when I said yes, we have been doing some analysis. It has taken a little bit of time in order to determine who comes from where and who should be able to get what kind of amount and that exercise, I'm happy to announce, it was completed and uh, we have now released 5.2 billion to the first years in the first of the And that is uh, going forward, going forward, we have also issued money to all the public universities 
Il ne faut pas 